I'm here in Pulaski, Virginia. There's all kinds of press events going on behind me. They're demonstrating their Black Buffalo concrete printer and the walls that they're going to ultimately print for the two homes that are going over there. They've cleared this site and they're preparing the groundwork. They're going to have this exact printer right over there printing those two homes in C2. We're going to get the opportunity to talk with some of the team members responsible for the project so that we can learn a bit more about these first two of which will hopefully be 200 homes in Pulaski, Virginia. Welcome to Alquis 3D. We are here to kick off the biggest 3D printed project in the whole world. 200 residential homes throughout the state of Virginia over the next four to five years. And it all starts right here. Doing some prototyping. Uh, uh, we have a lot of projects coming up here in the area, and so we're t testing out our new Black Buffalo uh, UG machine. How do you feel about the print today? It's going really well. We have nice, nice ambient temperature, obviously helps. Material consistency is really smooth. Uh, print operation has been going uh, very successfully with little to no changing throughout the printer part. I'm seeing this giant concrete printer behind you. Uh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, it's crazy how much uh, technology has advanced in our short time frame. And um, it's pretty cool. And I think if we could do it with cost efficiency, I feel like a lot of houses should be 3D printed this way. We're going to be printing in Roanoke. We're going to be printing with Habitat for Humanity and many other places over the next couple of years. It's really exciting. And this is an industry that is growing. Hey, my name is Adesha Loke Bello. Um, uh, we're here in Pulaski, Virginia. I'm a big fan of YouTube channel, so like when I found out, I got an email that some printing was going on in like my locality, which is 30 minutes from where I live. So I decided to come out, you know, take a look and see what it's really about. And it really is impressive as it looks uh, in all your videos. And, uh, it's really cool to be at like some of the few print sites globally, you know, and to see what's going on and really to see what it has to do for the future of affordable housing. Notice the great layer quality they're getting right now. This is particularly impressive because it was overcast earlier, now the sun's out. It's warming up a little bit, the conditions are changing, but the quality of the concrete remains the same. Part of printing is very overcast and around 30 minutes ago an hour, the sun came out intensified heat and the ambient temperature. What we were doing was we were initially running the material a little on the wire side to anticipate that and we were able to control those metrics at the print print head by changing the speed and I it. It looks great you can't even tell from the from the print. Yeah, I get doing that control. Oh. Hi I'm Rick Boyd uh, with Old Dominion Developers standing here in front of the 3D printer uh, for the new concrete printed houses that are coming to Pulaski, Virginia. Show some folks uh, how it works and what they're doing here and as the GC we're looking forward to being a huge part of this project. We have ladder placement every 10 layers. We do full, full piece sets for our straight lines and single single rods for our curvy line. On this machine we have an underhooked uh, hose management system so it is attached to the X axis and is able to uh, go back and forwards rather than, uh, rather than full motion. We have kind of uh, a system here where there's a, a locked piece of the hose, so rather than kinking, it'll flip uh, for rotation. Nice. That hose management is set per, per print project. And on the project. other side of the hose, it's a pretty big rotor stainer you got over there. Yeah, so uh, Ventures, uh, we made custom concrete, uh, mix and pump. Very large system. The system behind me is fed by the Ventures Equipment Silo Mixer Pump System that feeds the material into the hose, through the hose management system, and ultimately to the extruder head where it's deposited in its final resting place. As far as the mixer pump, how does that compare to the other system you were using before? With any system, there's pros and cons. Uh, we're looking at a lot more material consistency. We have a batch mixing integration into that so you're able to see the concrete uh, before it gets pushed through the hose. So, so we've changed a lot of, of different of different things before uh, since our last system. So overall, I think that's very nice. How do you feel about the Ventures Equipment System? The Ventures Equipment System is the best pump system that we've worked with so far. It, it, the pump system is very challenging, as many people who do this work knows. I don't think anybody's perfected this just yet, but the pump is doing what we need it to do. But we still need it to go a little bit faster, and that's coming. But they've been incredible partners, and they've been making adjustments as we've been suggesting. This is where the two homes will be printed by the printer we just saw doing that demonstration concrete wall. They'll use the same material and the same method and a lot of the same crew to print these first two homes 
and then do 200 more. I'll make sure to stop by and check on their progress every time I'm in Virginia so that we can see it from the ground up. Often the printing is quick, but the rest of the construction process still relies on human labor, so that can take a considerable amount of time longer. Uh, standing here in front of the job site where we're going to do two of the 3D printed concrete houses, uh, getting everything prepped. Town of Pulaski is working with us here doing all the grade and prep work. Um, along with the 3D printed housing, uh, we're a Class A general contractor. We, um, we also do stick build housing. We do a lot of custom work. We also have a custom modular franchise. So if you're interested in looking at Old Dominion developers, please go to our website, www.olddominiondevelopers.com. So look, we're really happy to be here in Pulaski, Virginia, the largest single home community of residential homes. 200 going to be built over the next two to three years by Alquist 3D. This is fantastic. We're screaming it from the top of the mountain, and we're so happy to be with our material partner, MAPE, who is our exclusive provider of our 3D ink that goes into this printer and any other printer throughout the globe. And we're here with Kevin Smith who is the national head of MAPE here in America. Kevin, thanks for all your material. Buddy. Michael, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. We're uh, glad to be here. We're, we're thrilled that after about two years of research and development and trials, uh, we finally got product that's uh, working and moving and uh, works right with your printer. So yeah. thank you for the opportunity. You bet. Uh, I mean, initially, when we first brought some material on site uh, in New Jersey uh, with Black Buffalo, we uh, we had you know pumps and things like that that we were working through in the material, et cetera, and you know, they've made some revisions and they developed new systems and new technology that's pumping the material better than ever and uh, again we're just we're pleased yeah. to be a part of it yeah we broke we broke three pumps we destroyed our <laughs> counterbalance um, we had I don't know how many tubes we went through uh, I don't know how many people we went through that burnt them out uh, because much of this we were doing also in different weather we were doing it in extreme heat yeah. you know we doing it in cold to see how it impacts um, the, the material because humidity has a great big impact Impact, uh, on that water content inside the material so yeah we broke everything but that's science science you break things it takes time uh, for that to happen I think we went through almost 70 different versions there was quite a few right? quite a few Michael well, almost 70 different versions of that as well which you know that's that's the kind of quality that we wanted to get to and the other thing when we changed pieces of the material MAPE was great with this. We didn't just change it to change it. How much does this material cost? Let's keep the overall cost down. Is this material available globally? Is it easily sourceable? Right, so we had multiple different business decisions along with just the material decisions. We've been printing for around an hour and 45 minutes and have achieved like have a, a five, foot, five foot wall. Each layer is probably around 40 feet. Uh, in, in a single lap, and so obviously if you're doing a much larger object, it'd be uh, lower, or a much smaller one you could do it. Everything you doing smooth today? Yeah, everything's going really well. We started the day off, nice overcast, uh, overcast temperature. We had some uh, sun coming out, raising the ambient temperature a little bit. Um, but we were able to mitigate that, that weather shift, and it's smooth going everything. What kind of things as the print operator are you looking at right now to make sure everything's going well? Yeah, so as, as a print operator, the spotter, we're looking for your line width, kind of consistency coming out, whether the material is pulling apart or stretching, um, whether it's clumping or spitting out, and also just ladder width. Uh, we do a ladder every uh, 10, 10 layers, about 12 inches. Cool. Has this hose ever clogged on you? Uh, no, we have had, we've had like small issues, however, uh, We've had not had a clog with this print at all. Yeah, last time in Virginia, you guys had the sledgehammers out. Yeah, uh, no sledgehammers out on the site today uh, or past week. You know, working in a lot cooler temperatures. Uh, at that time, we're working like a 105 and uh, feels like temperature, so setting a lot quicker. However, since the material of the setup is a little more forgiving. So we are using Black Buffalo's 3D's UG printer. And this printer actually goes up three stories. That we took off the top attachments right now, so it's only a one-story printer. But this is the demo. You can see how high we're already going. That must be almost five feet right now. And we did that in about a little less than two hours. And we've got a great team. We're training today, our local Virginia team. So we've got four new employees that are learning how to do this right now. One of them is already running the printer. He's doing a heck of a job. 
and this printer allows us to do multiple shapes and sizes and will be moved right across the street in about two weeks. <laughs> What a fantastic day here in Pulaski, the largest 3D construction printed residential community in the world. Amazing group of people, political uh, titans from Virginia here, our great partners from MAPE and Alquist uh, were here. You know, beautiful sunny day and the printer was just impeccable in its production and its capacity and, and, and its fluidity. Uh, so as it should be, because it's one of the best printers in the world. So we're very happy to be part of this project. We're, we're so excited for the breaking of the ground that's already happened and now the houses start going up. Congratulations to Alquist. Congratulations to Pulaski, Virginia. Great stuff. To learn more about Alquist 3D and everything that we're doing, go to alquist3d.com. You're gonna to see tons of information about our company, our mission, and our goal, which is solving America's housing shortage with a focus specifically on rural and underserved communities.